Well, hello there. Today we're going to watch a classic TV series called 227, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. 227 is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today, we're going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Marla Gibbs was born as Margaret Bradley in Chicago, Illinois on June 14, 1931. She played the character Mary Jenkins in the series when she was 54 years old in 1985. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 91. Sudden, I think about it a lot. Look, I'm gonna be late, and they don't take being in love with your wife as an excuse. Bye. <laughs> Lester! Le Women didn't have a lot of power to do anything on these well, shows. Well, of course, um, she, she directed me too, and she's now... Hal Williams was born as Halroy Candace Williams in Columbus, Ohio on December 14, 1938. He played the character Lester Jenkins in the series when he was 47 years old in 1985. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 84. Lester! Yeah? Do you love me? I just kissed you, didn't I? <laughs> it wasn't much of a kiss. Mary. We, the 227 that you saw is not the 227 that NBC wanted. That's the show that Marla wanted, because we did was a play. Elena Reed Hall was born on November 10, 1946 in Springfield, Ohio. She played the character Rose Lee Holloway in the series when she was 39 years old in 1985. Sadly, on December 17, 2009, Hall died of breast cancer at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California. She was 63 years old. Jackie Harry was born on August 14, 1956 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. She played the character Sandra Clark in the series when she was 29 years old in 1985. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 66. I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. I know I thought I did. Trouble in love, man? Oh, no, no, I would never burden you with my... And I stayed uh, until I was about nine. And then she came and got me. And um, when I got to New York, uh, I loved it. I mean, I loved... Kia Goodwin was born on August 2nd, 1973 in Montclair, New Jersey. She played the character Tiffany Holloway in the series when she was 12 years old in 1985. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 49. Helen Martin was born on July 23, 1909 in Nashville, Tennessee. She played the character Pearl Shea in the series when she was 76 years old in 1985. Sadly, Martin died of a heart attack on March 25, 2000 in Monterey, California. She was 90 years old. I'm not ready for you. It's too late at night. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Thanks so much for coming on. It's well, good to have you here. Thanks for asking me. Yeah, we, you know, we were talking today that... Curtis Baldwin was born on November 25th, 1967 in Los Angeles, California. He played the character Calvin Dobbs in the series when he was 18 years old in 1985. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 55. You've got to see this to believe it. Eleven. Relate to common everyday people, you know, because they they going through their emotions, but it's kind of push. It. <laughs> but he's doing yeah. movies. He's yeah, keeping people working. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So. 
Countess Vaughn was born on August 8, 1978, in Idabel, Oklahoma. She played the character Alexandria DeWitt in the series when she was 10 years old in 1988. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 44. Barry Sobel was born on July 11, 1959 in Brooklyn, New York. He played the character Dylan McMillan in the series when he was 30 years old in 1989. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 63. Stoney Jackson was born in Richmond, Virginia on February 27, 1960. He played the character Travis Fillmore in the series when he was 29 years old in 1989. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 63. All right. I knew it. I knew you'd come back. How'd you find it? I took a business card from the limo. I guess deep down, I knew I couldn't really give her up. Well, what are you going to do now? Your note said you had no place to live. Well, Father Gabay spoke to my sister. She said that we could... Paul Winfield was born on May 22, 1939 in Dallas, Texas. He played the character Julian C. Barlow in the series when he was 49 years old in 1988. Sadly, on March 7, 2004, Paul Winfield died of a heart attack at Queen of Angels Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center in Los Angeles. He was 84 years old. A long time ago. You got a better idea? Yeah. I'm leaving. You can do whatever you want, dude. When I get to where I'm going, I'll get some heavy cats from New York, St. Louis, and let them handle it. Yeah, I could be your smart, but not me. I'm going up there and set up and wait for him. Rinaldo Ray was born on January 27, 1940, in Sequoia County, Oklahoma. He played the character Ray the Mailman in the series when he was 46 years old in 1986. Sadly, Ray died on May 28, 2015, due to complications from a stroke he suffered a year prior. He was 75 years old. He's interred in the Forest Lawn Memorial Park. I know ain't no route that big. I went to Berkeley. Our textbook was Anthology of a Freak, written by Billy Jane King. Kevin Peter Hall was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on May 9, 1955. He played the character Warren Merriweather in the series when he was 34 years old in 1989. Unfortunately, while working on the TV series Harry and the Hendersons, Hall announced that he had contracted HIV from a blood transfusion during surgery for injuries he sustained in a car accident. He died from AIDS-related pneumonia on April 10, 1991. He was 35 years old. He's off on a wild trip. This one is not doing what normal predators do, you know, which is hunt and go by the rules. He's definitely breaking all the rules. So he's a wild boy. Off between shots and uh, allow as much, you know, air and breathing as possible. He was uh, amazingly professional. Every Regina King was born on January 15, 1971 in Los Angeles County, California. She played the character Brenda Jenkins in the series when she was 14 years old in 1985. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 52. Oh, well, thank you. What? Well, how come you all dressed? Oh, of course, Uncle Lewis is coming. That's Lester's child. <laughs> Mom, can I go to the store? Yeah, I need some candles for the table man I know and love to see themselves in this story and you know my son is that. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of 227's TV series I want to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below 
and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thanks for joining me on this journey down memory lane.